is treacherous, but it will lead to untold <laughs> mastery. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. You made it even further that time. Take pride in your progress. Is that a key? One from my past. Did it unlock something important? Only a memory. Seems Valhalla thinks you have a story to tell. Later. Before you ask, yes, I was back in my old forest again. And this time I encountered my former boss, King Oberon. Rather, I'll... This conversation will have to wait. Do what you need. to tell a story of your first master. Aye. Seems to be the very story Valhalla has me reliving, in fact. Oberon fancied himself romantic, you see. 
always claimed that love was more important to him than anything. One time, he led his entire entourage on a journey to attend the wedding of some duke or other near your old neck of the woods. The groom, this lordly prick, had conquered the warrior queen and was marrying her as part of terms for peace. And this somehow was so romantic to Oberon that he dragged us across the sea to pay respects. Never mind, he was quarrelling with his own queen the entire way! Well, I'll have more of that one. Behind you! at all. It might be worth it. As I was saying about my old master and his lofty so-called romantic ideals, we'd settled in a forest outside of Athens a place well situated to observing the comings and goings of the Duke's other guests. There we observe the romantic complications of some local use, and Oberon gets it into his head to intervene, bids me fetch him a magical flower that can manipulate the affections of others. Supposedly, the idea was to nobly help true love prevail over the pressure of family arrangements. But what he really wanted was to use the flower to torment his own wife. I see why you left his service. Aye. Seems Valhalla won't let you that way unless you strike a bargain. Just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. <laughs> 